Today we are going to be having a little chat, a little chit chat. Y'all know me. I like to talk, okay? If you don't know me by now, my name is Amanda Glore, queen of the controversial conversations and also your motivational speaker. Um, well, not speaker. That sounds very professional. Okay, your motivational... Don't know. I like to give motivational speaks. So, it is what it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, today we're just going to be talking about um being who and what you want to attract um i know that sounds very cliche if you will um but it it is what it is it's exactly what it sounds like it's about being who and what you want to attract if i want a person who is loving and caring i should be a loving and caring person so that way loving and caring energy attracts towards me um, so that's the sense of relationship and then you have the other sense um, how you want to view yourself so if I want a life full of joy and happiness and loving people I should be joy and happiness and a loving person so that way the lifestyle that I do want I attract it by being who it is and what it is that I want to attract so we are going to go deeper into it just in case i lost a few people which i'm pretty sure i have because you know you always have to unravel more to really get into it um so we're gonna go ahead and get into this conversation <laughs> what is up you guys how are you guys doing um so as you can tell by the intro we are talking about being who and being what you want to attract so this is gonna sound very 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 stupid it's gonna sound stupid but it's important <laughs> okay so first things first where do you see yourself in five years i know it sounds dumb like really come on now like what type of interview is this but it's honest for real where do you see yourself in five years and the reason why it's important or whatever i feel like five years is a good standpoint you could do a year you could do three years you could do seven years whatever you know wherever you see yourself being the goal you so we all have goals i hope <laughs> if you don't that is number one step get goals um but we all have goals and we all have a certain point i hope which where you see those goals unraveling um with me i it's always a five-year period for me you know um with certain goals i mean of course some goals i want to reach by next year but the base of everything is because the, because where I am in five years, the goals that I see myself for in a year or two years, they would have been reached because I'm now past those time frames. So um, where do you see yourself in five years? Wherever you see yourself in five years, it is the now that you're supposed to be working on to fulfill those goals that you see yourself in five years. So let's do an example. If I see myself in five years, uh, let's see using myself as an example right if i see myself in five years having five hundred thousand um subscribers on youtube right which is not my goal but just using an example for so what i need to be doing now i can't say i see myself in five years having five hundred thousand subscribers um and then now i'm not doing anything to build those subscribers i'm not doing anything to build a following i'm not doing anything i'm not making videos i'm not making content how am I going to reach that goal? You get what I'm saying? So what I have to do in the now is what I want to attract in the future. Same with who I want, right? Um, I want my, I'm using myself as example. That's the easiest thing to do. I want um, what's around me to be full of love and happiness and joy. I don't want any darkness. Life is already filled with darkness. It's the balance of life. It has to be filled with darkness. Um, so I don't want what's around me to be filled with darkness. So it's in my best of my ability to try to fulfill a life full of light. That way what I am attracting to myself is light, is joy, is happiness, is abundance. You get me? So it's important to figure out it's important to figure out what you want so in the now in the now and the now is the today you can start working towards the who and the what you want to attract okay now it's easier said than done because a lot of times the greatness that you're gonna get to um you have to go through a lot of trials and tribulations to get there you know it doesn't come in a snap of finger it doesn't come that easy it's a lot of work it's a lot of dedication it's a lot of things that you have to 
unravel within yourself to get to the best you possible. Um, so I like to say this to, you know, to people, especially when it comes to dating. Now, granted, disclaimer, there are loopholes in everything. I'm not saying that exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly how it is. Of course not. There's loopholes in everything, right? But what I am saying is the logics, the basics of it, it, it kind of relates in this way. So if you are wanting to date, right? Um, and you're looking for something more so serious, if you're looking for something more so solid, um, it probably wouldn't be in your best interest. Okay, I apologize. I ran out of space per usual. I'm always running out of space. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So if you are um, looking for somebody, trying to date out in the dating world, cool, not a problem. Um, I don't think it would be wise to go to a club or a strip club to find the to find your man depending on what man you want what type of guy you want you you would go somewhere if you are going out specifically to find somebody to date right you would go somewhere where the qualities or the characteristics i should say of the man that you have kind of fits that atmosphere right um typically if you want a wholesome guy who doesn't want three girlfriends um, and doesn't just want to flex his money on you, you wouldn't go to a strip club or um, you wouldn't go to the club scene. Not saying you can't find a wholesome guy who wants to treat you like his queen and so on and so forth. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying the odds are less likely. That's what I mean when I say you would go to the places that are going to attract kind of what you want. It, it works for everything. You just have to think a little deeper, just like dieting, just like losing weight. If you want to lose weight, you wouldn't go to a buffet, you know, <laughs> or you wouldn't consistently eat out. If you want to save money, you wouldn't um, go places where you're itching to spend your money. You would try to stay home. You would try to stay inside because, you know, once you go outside, your card is going outside your wallet, you know? Um, so it's kind of the same thing. So for with who you want or what you want to be, if you want to work on yourself, you want, if you want to be less insecure, if you want to be, um, and that's another thing. A lot of times your flaws are blocking you from who or what you should be having in the light, in your life. Um, and that is because you're not at the place you need to be. You're not in the, 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 you're not in the dynamics of what you need to be in order to obtain what you want. Um, which is why self-reflection is very important because a lot of times you could be blocking yourself um, from the things that you are wanting for yourself, which is why I say it's important to reflect where you want to be and then assess how you need to move in today. So if you want a guy who is very secure with himself, who is very assertive, and not in a negative way, not in an overly masculine way, assertive in, man, in, the, in the way that he just plays his role as his man, as he should. You know, um, all those stuff, the things that most females want in their man, um, you would want to be the best and the most wholesome you, you can be. Um, you wouldn't want, like I said, there's loopholes for everything. I'm not saying that you know, in order for you to obtain all that you want in life, you have to be perfect. We're never going to be perfect. No matter how far you come, there's always going to be things for us to work on, period. Um, but in my opinion, I feel like a lot of times the blessings that we want, we have to go, we have to be at a place to sustain them, you know? Um, and if you want a guy who's secure nine times out of ten eight times out of ten not even nine times out of ten because sometimes a guy that is secure um could come to an insecure woman to feed her in her security to um feed her insecurity to not where she is secure that does happen that can happen so i'm not saying that like i said i'm not saying you have to be at a place where you're perfect but i do feel like to obtain the lifestyle that you want for yourself or to um, be in a place where certain blessings can reach you, your insights do have to be aligned. Um, and I know it, it, it sounds weird because you think of all the people who 
may be at a place where you want to be and their insides are rotten or their insides aren't at the destination of where they should be. Um, and a lot of times, whether we see it or not, um, the stuff within their lives that have been blessed to them turns into turmoil because they reached it before the point where they should have. And that happens a lot, which is, I feel like that happens I feel like you can kind of look at people who have reached their certain level of fame, reach a certain level of fortune, and commit suicide or um, start being on drugs, start because they kind of did it backwards um, to where they didn't fix the insides, to where when they get to certain levels, they can enjoy what's around them instead of fighting the demons that's inside of them. And that's why I say it's important to be who and what you want to attract. Um, because once your insights are like that's like imagine if um if the world worked like whatever our insights are is exactly what's going to come to us because it's not exactly um people kind of bypass it but imagine if like okay if our insights are rotten we're going to live in an area that is rotten we're going to live in an area that probably smells rotten we're gonna have a rotten car. We're gonna, you get what I'm saying? It, imagine your life as if it, it it can go exactly like that. Imagine that exactly how you are inside. That's exactly what you're gonna receive. And granted, no, life does not work like that. Um, in that aspect to where it's exact, but I believe it does work like that in the aspect that, you know how they say you are what you eat? It's like, you live what you are if that makes sense <laughs> i don't know if i'm making sense i'm trying to make it make sense i'm trying to go deeper into it to where it can make sense for you so it's like you you attract what you are um if we're broken inside um and this isn't always true you get what i'm saying um i feel like you have to know yourself you have to know where you are because I feel like if you're broken inside, you attract brokenness, but you can also be whole inside and attract brokenness in order to heal. You get what I'm saying? So it, it really depends. It depends, which is why it's kind of like, eh, it's kind of a tip for tat situation. Um, and that's why I say there's loopholes. That's why I say this is not for everybody. This isn't something that pertains to every single person. I just feel like it's the base of life on which how you should live. So you can be a person who is full of wholeness, who is um, full of life, full of joy, but you attract damaged people. Now, that doesn't mean that the damaged people are going to be in your immediate circle to where their energy is able to bleed onto you. It could just mean that you attract people, you run across people, or people grow a loving to you who are damaged in order for you to heal them. But that doesn't mean that your circle, your immediate circle has to be filled of damaged people. So that's why I go back to the five-year plan where I say, um, look at where you see yourself in five years. And that can be from physical, that can be from inside and out. Um, I feel like a lot of people focus on the physical first because it's the easiest, um, which it is. Um, I personally prefer for people to deal with the internal um, because once you deal with the internal, once your internal is where you want it to be, once you love yourself to that magnitude, your outernal, not that it doesn't matter, or your exterior, not that it doesn't matter, um, but you'll still love yourself. You won't look in the mirror and have negative affirmations for yourself. Yes, you're going to keep it real with yourself. Yes, you're going to tell yourself what you need to work on. Yes, you're going to tell yourself this, that, and the third. Um, but that comes from a place of love. That comes from a place of wanting to see yourself be the best you possible. I'm going to use myself as an example because it's the easiest. Um, me, personally, I have pretty much always loved the person who I am. Um, granted, we all have things that we can grow from in life. We all have a place where we need to grow. Um, so I'm not saying I've been perfect, but I, for the most part, loved myself. I was a very hard-headed person. I still kind of am, um, but that's also because I feel like um, I know what's best for myself. So that is something that me, myself, is even working on because um, I'm getting to a place where I feel like um, I'm very wise. I have a lot of wisdom, um, but 
in order to be truly wise, you have to take heed. Um, and I don't take heed at all. I might dwell on it afterwards, but I speak first and then kind of replay. So I'm trying to get to a place to where um, I take heed first, dwell on it, sit on it, and then speak if I feel like there's something that needs to be said. Um, so like I said, even I have things to grow about, to grow from, and I could still say I really love myself. I love the woman I am. I love my morals. I love what I stand for. Um, everything. I love myself internally. Now, even though I love myself internally, pretty, you know, a pretty solid, almost 100%, there are a lot of external things that I don't love about myself. Um, but that doesn't mean I look at myself and I'm like, Oh, well, this, that, and this, that, and that. I don't look at myself and I don't have, um, I don't want to say I don't have insecurities because that's so false, but I feel like, I, I guess I could say I don't have insecurities to the magnitude or I don't let my insecurities weigh me down in the magnitude that most people with internal disappointment in themselves would have. I'm trying to put it in the best way possible because we all have insecurities. We all have things about ourselves that we don't like. We all have things about ourselves that we wish we could fix. Nobody was born perfect. We're all born imperfect. Um, so we're all going to have something. Even the people who look perfect to us have imper imperfections when to themselves when they look in the mirror. So, so we're, we're, you know, nobody's, we're, we all have stuff that we need to work on. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that I, I think because I love myself so much um, that when I do look in the mirror and I do see my imperfections, I'm like, okay, well, this is how we're going to fix it. You know, like, this is what we're going to do about it. It's not something where I'm like, oh, I hate looking at myself. Oh, my God, I hate this. Oh, why? You know, I don't nitpick at myself um, to that extent. Like, there are some stuff where I look at myself and I'm like, dang, okay, this needs to be fixed a little bit. And it's like little tweaks, like little stuff that's like, really, girl, like, bro, really? But it's just, that's just what I see. But it's not something that I'm constantly like, oh, this sucks and this sucks. And, you know, I think it's just the mental way of how you perceive yourself um, or portray yourself. I think that's what matters. And that's why to be who and what you want to attract um, I honestly feel like internally, you have to do soul searching. You have to do digging. You have to really, 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 and truly try to be the best version of you. I feel like once you try to be the, it's like it's levels. It, and it, there is, there's levels to life. I feel like once you try to be the best version of you, you're going to get the best version of your life. You get what I'm saying? I think that is, uh, that is like, like, ah, I just got an epiphany moment. Like, perfect. That's exactly what I've been trying to say. So it's like, I feel like your life is toe-to-toe -to -toe with the level of you. So I feel like when we're at the base level of ourselves, we're going to be at the base level of our life. Um, and I feel like each step that we're taking is unlocking another level to life. Um, and granted... <laughs> life is balanced so even though you're unlocking a greater level and your life might be getting greater um the negative aspect of life could get greater too you know and it's it's like that's just how it is the bigger the blessings the bigger the negativity you know um it's it's just that's just the way life has to balance itself out um but i feel like each step that we take each each level that we're going up with with ourselves internally that's the level that we're going up with our life so that's why i say it's good to look at your 5 year plan cuz if your 5 year plan in life is on this level and you're here internally you need to now start bringing yourself up so that within those 5 years you're at the level that you want to be at or th at the level that you want to obtain for yourself. Um, and you can decide to stay there um, or you can decide to grow. That's completely up to you. Some people are more than happy um, not reaching their full potential or not um, getting to that level of, and, and, and I was about to say of um, maximization, but there's never, there's never, maximization because we are not god um we cannot be perfect unfortunately there is no way for us to be perfect there's always going to be stuff to work through um so 
you're always going to have something to work on. I don't care if you get to 200 years old, you're always going to have things in life to learn. You're always going to get a new level that you can unlock. That's the message I have. In order to um, unlock new levels of your life, you have to unlock the levels within yourself of growth and be who and what you want to attract. If you want love, if you want joy, if you want happiness, if you want fulfillment, um, I feel like we have to be fulfillment to others. We have to spread joy to others. We have to be light to others. Um, just be who and what you want to attract. If you want greatness, be great. Um, never settle for little. Okay. <laughs> Never settle for less. Um, never, never settle if you want greatness. In order to obtain greatness, you cannot settle. Um, if you want happiness, wake up every day and tell yourself you're gonna be happy. They say happiness is a choice. Um, I think that's 100% true. Now, is it easy? No. No, because there are things in life where you're like, well, if this didn't happen or if this wasn't here, I would be happy. And that's true. You know, there, there are things like that where, yes, if this didn't happen, you would have happiness. Or if this person didn't do this, you wouldn't have cussed them out. There's a cause and effect that is 100% true, but it's your choice to cuss them out. Did you have to cuss them out? <laughs> no, we didn't. No matter how much we like, yeah, yeah, we did. Cause we, no, you didn't. You didn't have to cuss them out. You could have told them to have a great day and go on about your way. You get what I'm saying? Um, It's a choice and it's not always the easiest choice. It's nine times out of ten to be honest with you it's going to be the hardest choice okay it's going to be the choice that makes your blood boil your skin crawl because it's like i will kill you but <laughs> you have to choose to take the higher road you have to choose to be the better person you have to choose greater um just like with the example of saving um you have to choose to stay in the house no matter how bored no matter how out your mind you're going you have to choose it. And that's where discipline comes in. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that we learn in life, they all correlate, they all go together. Everything correlates with each other. It's all about discipline. It's all about choosing what's best for you. And it's all about picking the route that you want for yourself. So I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where do you see yourself in five years? However you see yourself in five years, what are you gonna do to start the process for the now? Don't start in three years where you only have two years left. Don't start in, no, see yourself in five years and what you do in the now is going to be what builds for the future, for the then. What you do in the now is what builds for the then. What you do in the now is what builds for the then. So yes, you might have to wait five years for your perfect man because you have five years of childhood trauma, of insecurities, of a lot of damages inside that you have to build through. So, what do you want in five years? Do it in the now so you can get it in then. That's what I'm saying. That's my message for today, I guess. It's very calm. This message came through really calm. That's really weird. I'm usually really, really passionate when I speak and I'm, I feel very calm with this message, which is weird. It could be the white. <laughs> <laughs> but but that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you guys got the gist of what i was saying um i have to get better with explaining things i was telling myself to start writing it down but i don't like to do that i like for it to flow naturally uh, but when it comes to certain topics because what it is it's just like there's like one thing to say um and there's only so much to break it down it's only so much i can do to break it down um, which is why I don't like writing it down because I don't want it to be scripted. I really want it to just come from me. I really want it to just flow naturally. Like if I'm really speaking, like I, we're just really talking. Um, so I hope you were able to understand the gist of what I was trying to say and really grasp it. I might do another one just because I feel like I wasn't passionate in this video, but I don't think I was supposed to be. I think I was supposed to be calm. My energy is very, very calm, which is weird. That is, it's really weird to me that, that, that I'm so calm right now. I'm never calm when I'm speaking. I'm typically a passionate speaker. So maybe I have to deliver this message calmly. Maybe, I don't know, I almost feel like I'm gonna whisper. <laughs> like I'm telling you a secret. Um, Hey, whatever it is, what it is. But 
thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um send it to somebody if this could be words of encouragement um i hope this was words of encouragement for you i hope you were able to really analyze what i was trying to say um and really grasp it not just analyze it but grasp it you can replay it if you need to it's youtube you can come back to it in three months if you want to i don't care <laughs> But thank you for watching. If you're watching this on the Amanda Galore channel, thank you for watching. But if you can please subscribe to Amanda G Talk channel, I'll go ahead and link it. I think it's this corner. I'll go ahead and link it. Um, that is the channel I am trying to convert to all my sit down conversations, my girl chats, all that. I'm trying to have it on that channel. And then the Amanda Galore channel would be um, more so my fun channel if you want to know me on a more personal level. This is definitely the channel. We'll have vlogs. We'll have try on hauls. All sorts of different stuff. But don't go ahead, um, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Amanda underscore galore. Um, give me a shout out. I'll be sure to give you a shout out back. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Call me, leave all your things, yeah We can stop a Gucci, stop a Louis V, yeah Call me, fly out the crease Phone speed, so long it back